Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I've been wanting to take advantage of the fantastic spring weather we've been having, so I'm doing some upgrades to the front of my house. I've also decided to make some big changes to the look of the porch. One of the main changes is the front door, and I've been needing to do this upgrade for quite some time. Leading up to this video, we removed a garden bed and fence, and we added some sod. So now I'm ready to show you what I've decided to do to update the look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm happy you're here today. We're outside again and we're working on the front porch. We're gonna be tackling this black door behind me. I have had this door black for as long as I can remember. And I've always kind of liked it because I had some black rockers that I've been using on the front porch and they all kind of tied in together. And I had a black garden fence around the front of my garden area. And I'm just changing everything. I'm tired of the black. I wanna lighten it up a little bit. I wanna go with something a little bit more boho. But a lot of you guys know that I have a porcelain tile on my front porch and it has a wood look to it so I got a kit on Amazon and I'm gonna give it a try it is a wood look kit my only concern is that the two um, cans are about this big and my concern is that there's only enough in the kit just to the door and as you can see I have a side light I want to do as well so I'm not sure if it's gonna end up working out and I'm gonna keep it this way but I definitely want to try it because I love the wood look doors and because I have a steel door that that's kind of not something that I can make happen otherwise. So I'm gonna give this a try. I'll let you know at the end what I think about the product. I have had it sitting in my shed for over a year, so I'm not sure if the product has degraded a little bit. I'm hopeful that it is still good and will look good when the final process is done. So I wanna show you very quickly all of the pieces that came in this kit, just in case you're interested in giving it a shot and trying it on one of your doors. It came with the light and the dark stains. I remember when I purchased it, there was a couple of options. I think I went with the English oak and then it came with the mitt, the, a brush, um, a drop cloth. It's got pretty much everything you need in it. It even came with the roller. So we're going to get started and see how this turns out. But as you can see from the door behind me, it definitely needs to be cleaned first. So we're going to get started with that. Some simple vinegar and water will be perfect to remove grime and dirt as well as all of the pollen that we've had here in Florida. And once the cleaning is done, I'll begin with the update. My porch used to have a farmhouse look and since I'm trying to lean into more of a modern simple look, I'll be making some small budget friendly changes that will make a big impact. So you guys, I don't have a good feeling about this. I have only done the trim. You're supposed to go around and do all of like the beveled areas and the indented areas and all of the things that the roller won't be able to get because they're not flat. And I've only done that and I am already down to here on this first little can. Now, I'm thinking that because my door is black underneath that if I don't have extremely perfect full coverage on the first coat it'll be fine because the black will just maybe show through like wood grain but this is very very small and I was actually thinking I would have plenty because of the fact that most of my door is a window and a lot of standard doors only have the window at the top if at all and this is meant for one door so I was hopeful that it would do the door on the side light but I don't know we'll see maybe it glides on really easily and the coverage will be fine um, let's find out That was probably the hardest 
thing I've ever done when it comes to painting. I paint a lot. Um, the fact that the roller just didn't want to roll was a real problem. That made it really, really difficult. Um, and I didn't, I thought I had a different roller and I didn't. So I ended up just having to try to work with what I had and it made it really hard. Um, and then over here on the side light, um, I just used the paintbrush only. And I think maybe that might be okay. Um, the coverage is pretty good. So it says it has to dry completely before I come in with the second coat. And the second coat is where you get that wood look. It um, creates like a, almost like a grain effect. Okay guys, so I did not film the process of doing this wood look because I ended up getting so frustrated with the product that I did not follow the directions because the directions were telling me to do something that was not looking good. So I just kind of went with my gut and did my own thing and it's drying now. It's, I'm hopeful that as it dries, it stays looking this sort of wood look and like variation, almost like grain. Um, I may end up coming back in with a second coat, even though the directions say you're not supposed to do that, that you won't need it. But I just feel like, I don't know, I just, sometimes you just gotta trust yourself and not worry about the directions and that's what I did here. The side light was very difficult to do. It's still drying, it's still wet. So hopefully when it dries, it will look just like the door. Um, but it was really rough. Um, painting in those tiny little areas and I definitely should have taped it off um, you know don't follow my lead on that but I I think I'm gonna end up liking the product once it's dry um, and potentially going back in with another coat it definitely does look like wood from far away so I'm thinking I'm gonna be happy with the final product I just was very frustrated while I was working on it So I have this wood frame mirror here on the front porch and I decided to use some of the leftover stain to just warm up the wood coloring of it and I really like the way it turned out. So you just gotta do a little bit of cleanup now. Laying sod is a very messy job. We got a lot of sand and dirt here. So we'll get this cleaned up and wash the front porch up and get ready for some decorating. Since we just laid this sod, I didn't really want to use harsh chemicals to clean the porch, so I just dropped a few dollops of Dawn dish soap to scrub around and hose it off. So guys, these are the chairs that I picked up last week while we were at Big Lots. I really love the look of these. Um, they were buy one, get one half off, which I thought was a really good deal because one chair was 50. So, you know, the, the, the total cost was much, much better um, with the sale price. So definitely recommend finding those sales at Big Lots when you can. I wanted to try this style of chair because I like the idea of having smaller chairs on the front porch, being that my porch is pretty narrow. I thought that would do pretty well under the mirror and I love the wicker look of them especially now that I have the wood look door and the dark wood mirror I think that's gonna look really nice and then I also ended up picking up this little side table it was $44.99 and just this little drum shaped table I thought was really cute I love the black detailing on it and I think I'm gonna end up with black accents because I want to also um, add in some black pillows on the tops of these chairs. So all in all, I think these were a great deal. I picked up a couple of small items also while I was at Big Lots. So once the porch is done drying, we'll go ahead and get decorating. While we're waiting for the porch to dry though, I just wanted to share with you, I was able to grab two more of these striped yellow and white flowers for my window box. And they're starting to fill in and it looks really cute. I am loving the way it turned out. If you haven't seen the video where I worked on this window box, I'll be sure and link it below because I shared with you guys some of my patio plans and ideas and things that I'm going to be doing on my side patio and I got these planted up so this is on the side entry of my house just in front of my porch
Placing these new chairs really got me excited to see the final result with the newly painted door, and I love the simple look of the black accents with the wood and wicker tones. A few shade loving plants should warm up the space nicely and these split leaf philodendrons create such a graceful lovely sway in the wind which is a perfect for a relaxing day on the porch. Okay, so while I was at Big Lutz, I picked up these two container pots. Um, they were on sale. Um, I think they were buy one, get one 50% off, and they look like concrete. They kind of look like the Walmart planters with the vertical fluting, but I liked the movement of the lines here. The only thing I don't like about them is that they are really gray. I mean, they look like concrete. They're super lightweight though. Um, so I wanted to spray paint these because I want them to match more closely with the white trim on the house. So we're going to work on that now. I love this neutral color and eventually I'll get around to repotting these plants so they have room to spread out their roots. I need your advice on which floor mat to go with because I love how the black ties in with the accent colors but isn't this one adorable? It's from the My Texas House line at Walmart and I'm leaning toward keeping this one here because I love the scallop detail. Now we're ready to refresh some of the existing pieces, starting with my porch light. Yes, that is a wasp nest behind the mount, but it wasn't an active nest, so there was no worry about getting stung, thankfully. Some fresh matte black paint, and this light will look as good as new. It's a great way to save money when you want to really focus in on keeping things budget friendly. Now because I used to have a farmhouse look, I took this brass sign that I think is so funny and I spray painted it white years ago and I really wanted the white gone. So my husband thought he might just take a wire wheel to it and he was able to buff all of the paint off and this is what it looks like now. Finally, some finishing touches to complete the porch look. Here's a look at how the door used to look. And here's the front porch now. Thank you so much for joining me today guys as we refresh the front of our house. I hope you'll join me in the next one. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Take care.